Welcome back everybody, I hope you're all fantastic. Today on 5 Minute Tones, I wanna show you how to dial in a quick and dirty envelope filter sound, and then we're gonna take that sound, add a few blocks, and get an absolutely monstrous pitch shifted synth fuzz envelope thing that's very much inspired by electro harmonics pedals like the micro synth and the pog. But before we do that, I have the Brit JM45 model with a green bat cabinet impulse that I made and the JFET compressor for my core tone. On my Les Paul Custom, it sounds like this. <laughs> So there's a riff to get your band from every guitar store and every virtual guitar store in the world. Let's get started with a filter block and we're gonna set the type to be a low pass filter. Furthermore, I'm gonna turn the Q control on this up, which basically boosts around that cutoff frequency. It kind of gives it this knee shape. Let's have a listen to that. So there's no swish just yet. <laughs> Kind of sounds like a parked wah or something like that, but I want this thing to swish. So let's right click the frequency control and set the source to the envelope follower. This means that my playing dynamics are gonna change basically how this particular center frequency of the filter moves. One thing I'm gonna do is set the minimum frequency to about 200 Hertz to get started. This is close enough. And let's just have a listen to what this does without tweaking the envelope follower itself. <laughs> So it's kind of doing the thing, just the attack and the release are way too fast. And I can change that by going to the controllers menu and the envelope slash manual page. We're interested in these controls here, the envelope follower. Try this to start out, because this is where you tweak things to taste. Set the attack to about 50 milliseconds and the release to about 100 milliseconds. And then we're gonna go in and kind of fine tune the threshold control so that uh, it tracks our playing dynamics the way we want. But with a slightly slower attack and release, we get this. So it's a little bit squelchier there. What I would do from here is just turn the threshold control up and down and experiment with how hard you're playing just to get the amount of squelch that you want. So if I turn it down, it's basically gonna be a little less sensitive. If I turn it up, it's kinda of gonna be more sensitive. Finally, I can fine tune this by turning the gain control up. This is basically gonna change how far this sweep goes in there. So by default, it's one and it's probably fine. I like to turn it up to about 1.2 though. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah, that's kind of what my out of tune Les Paul sounds like with this at the moment. So let's take that basic idea and add a few more blocks. Okay, same basic idea here at the moment, but you can see I've got a drive block, a pitch block, and a synth block in here at the moment. I am gonna engage this pitch block. Actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go to scene three where I've got the pitch block engaged and saved. What I've got here is a perfect fifth up on two voices of this quad chromatic pitch mode. I've detuned them slightly, and I've also got two voices an octave down that are also detuned a little bit. Those detune amounts are basically just gonna act like a natural kind of chorus and make everything sound really fat. This is what happens when I've got this pitch shifting on top of the envelope filter. <laughs> Really, really cool, right? Let's do this. Let's add a synth block in parallel. I've set the three voices to be sawtooth types. Again, this one is tuned down a whole octave and voice one and two have a little bit of detune going on. Furthermore, I have attached the envelope follower to the filter frequency on this synth. This is starting to sound mega. <laughs> Thank you. 
ridiculous, right? The only thing that can make this filthier is to add a fuzz. I have the face fuzz model in here, drive cranked. Turn the mix control down a little bit just to get a bit of clean blend in there. And this just puts me in my absolutely filthy, happy place. That kind of sounds a lot worse than I intended it to sound, but uh, it's a really, really cool sound. I'm gonna play you all out on it. Thanks so much for watching the video. This one will be up on Axchange if you wanna try it, and you can go in and apply these tips and tricks to your personal rig. Enjoy.